how to create bundles on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a bundle on your Wix store or your Wix website. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com, sign in into your account and you will see here the sites dashboard. If you don't have already a website, click on create a new site. But in case that you have already or you don't have a website and it is the first time that you are going to sign in into X, it will show you here the first window after setting your information and this is it. So choose here between the Wix Studio editor or the normal editor. It is a very professional editor and this is the most simplest and most used one. So go ahead and click on one of these and start making your website. So right here, I'm going to choose one of the website that I own. Then I will go ahead and click on it. Once you are going to click on it, right here, we have a dashboard. So this dashboard is specific for the website that we have chosen. So it doesn't uh, count if you are going to add something like a store or payment method. And you think that it will be uh, generated to all of the website that you own. So right here, all you need to do is to click on edit site. When you click on edit site, it will load up right there as the uh, menu or the website that you have. And here we are going to begin step by step. The first thing that you need to do is right there to uh, go ahead to the left side bar. And then we are going simply to click on the add apps. Click on add apps. Here it will show you the Wix app market. And now we are going to search for Wix stores. We need to add Wix stores first. Make sure that you have added Wix stores because this is the only solution to let you create and put products into your store. Here we have it. As you can see, it is already installed. If you don't, it will set you here or let you see that you can add to site. And once you have added this specific area, you're going to see here the store on the add element. Here we have the store section. We have a lot of uh, options. You can go ahead and set a grid product gallery and etc. So right there, after you have added the store, you're going to click on the sites page and menu. And this is it. Then you are going to see here stores page or stores pages. So you are going to click on product page and it will let you see the product or all of the product that you have, you can go ahead and click on next or preview to see all the product. And from here, you can manage the product and also edit that specific page. So when you click on manage product, you will see here the catalog of your product. You will see here the store products, as you can see. And now we have the products. That was all for uh, setting up the store first, because this is very important. If you are not adding or you didn't add the store, or Wix stores, nothing will work from here. So right there, we need to click on add a product. Then you are going to choose if it is a digital or a physical product. I'm going to choose a physical product in my case, but it depends on your cases. So in Wix, generally we cannot set a bundle because it will not give you the access to uh, uh, multiple apps or integration to let you set up the recommended it is not uh, as recommended as a shopify but here we have the option to collect the bundle into one image and create the bundle ourselves so we are going to head over canva then we are going to set up an image so make sure that you are going to add a, the a specific image so we are going to set an image like here i'm going to create an image Create a design, go ahead and click on custom size. Then you are going to type in, for example, this is an example uh, of 720. Here I'm going to create a, a design. This is a portrait. So we are going to set up a background. I'm going to set a background here, maybe like this or like that. And then I'm going to add an element from here, a shape. For example, this is the shape that I want to add. So here we have it. I'm going to make this shape white. So 
now we are going to add the products that we have for example i'm going to use here i'm going to make this uh, product like that so we are going to choose another product like this we are going to put here multiple products for example i'm going to search for another product maybe uh, here we are on the this case so go ahead and add this one I made a mistake. I'm going to make this, and maybe this is a bundle, or it could be a bundle. So we are going to add this. Now, what do we have here? Maybe this is our bundle. So we go ahead and say that this is the bundle that we are going to set. So here, I'm going to modify the image first. I'm going to put or center them here. For example, I'm going to put a um, clarification about the specific bundle. So I'm going to add a, a heading here by this. For example, I'm going to put it like that. And here by this. So you will get, for example, these. So we are going to set some arrows. Here we are going to set arrows. Or we can not, or in place of by this, we are going to set here uh, by our bundle. And uh, by our bundle, so the most of the people will understand here the bundle, how it is. So we are going to make something like that. I'm going to set it right there. You can go ahead and name the bundle, uh, the bundle items. So you are going to set this, for example, here we are going to add some headings. Here we are going to set sporty shoes. Then we are going to set this sporty shoes. Here we are going to set headphones, headphones like that. So go ahead and make it like that. And here we are going to duplicate this and put it in here, but we are going to put the name on it smart watch. So this is it. Now this is, uh, let's say the bundle. So we are going to add some elements right there. Some graphics maybe. I'm going to put here the bundle bundle maybe like this more suitable so here we are going to add for example here uh, we are going to add a text sale I'm going to put it in here so we are going to group these and make them like this so we're going to rotate it like that and boom. So here we have the bundle. So all we need to do is to download that specific image. Go ahead and click on uh, download it as a PNG. Now we have the image. All we need to do is to drag and drop it right away on here. Maybe I'm going to drag and drop it. And here we have it. It will be set right away. It is processing right now. I'm going to select only the image of the bundle. So this is uh, identified as a bundle. So here we have it. Now we are going to put here bundle of the season. This is just an example. You can go ahead and put uh, the uh, component of the bundle. So we are going to set, for example, smart watch t-shirt. Uh, here we are going to set, for example, headphones. Now we have shoes, shoe, and etc. You can go ahead and put, for example, the price. I'm going to put here three thousand or three hundred. You can go ahead and set on sale for promotional uses or purpose. 
you can add some custom text but this is a, not an option here because these products are not customizable you can add some product option but i highly recommend you to set up here the size of the t-shirt for example right there we are going to set a large small medium extra large large and etc so you can go ahead and add this for the t-shirt and here we have the option to save it you can add a pre-order if it is an exclusive content and you can add also some subscription to make the bundle a monthly or a, let's say yearly so when you finish you're going to click on save and boom here we have the product so we have the the uh, product or the bundle set that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one